$353,000 at my disposal. We've got plenty of things to upgrade. We got a brand new team. We got a brand new truck. We're gonna tear shit up this year. Things are gonna be fun. So let's take a look at these upgrades. Let's always, as always, check the engine first. So I could afford the best engine in the game, but I kinda wanna disperse my funds a bit more. So we'll take a look at this. Holy moly macaroni, not happening. I am sorry. I'm gonna go arrow first before that. See, we have not done shit as far as Arrow is concerned. And if I do buy this upgrade, we will still be at $200,000, so I could buy a decent part somewhere else. Such as this. So. Yes, we are going to go full on Arrow. We are going to get the Arrow figured out. Arrow to the top. Look at that. Downforce, the drag is non-existent now, the weight has gone down, everything is improving with this aerodynamics. $200,000 remain. I'm just going to check the engines once again, we'll see if I could afford anything. Oh, I'm just bordering on the best engine, second best engine that I could get. Well-rounded engine. Well, I didn't really want to go into the truck season at Daytona with a slower engine, but maybe with aero, I can affect um, drafting a lot better. So we're gonna start with this. I'm gonna get as much money as I can at Daytona, and then we're gonna upgrade the engine to the two two hundred and ten thousand dollar budget. Unless, of course, there is a while before we get to the next truck race. Yeah, there's a couple of modified races before then, so. Maybe we'll just have to do a couple of modifieds and see if we can get any closer to the best engine money can buy. Plus, you never know how much money we earn in this race could even notch us that much closer, so. Plus, if I win this race, we're already halfway to the fucking goal. And we are going to do awesome shit. So, my goal in this season is really just a top five finish in the standings. That's my goal here, and hopefully get a really good sponsor to come on so that when we do get to, to the Cup Series, we'll have amassed a fortune and be able to do good early. So. This is a defining moment. So we'll see if Arrow has affected anything at all when it comes to qualifying. Adam Petty, the 33rd car to go out. 52-5. So if we can get a 52-3, I will be satisfied and we can work our way through the draft. Brand new car, brand new paint scheme. It is a new season of racing. No more dirt races, because there's no reason to do that shit anymore. Just got to finish in the top 10 is all. in the wheel and modified series. I forgot to add that clarification. I'm talking about the wheel and modified series when I said top tens. Because I was thinking if we could just skip that elk that elk river race that fucked me up the ass ten ten ways from Sunday. That was not a pretty sight, I've gotta say. That was a pretty pathetic showing. Do trucks have restrictor plates? I don't remember. I don't remember if trucks had restrictor plates or if that's just a cup thing. And Xfinity for that matter. Trucks must have restrictor plates. Well, they aren't exactly the speediest of things. Like, the top speed is usually around 170, and even like a. a we went to Atlanta in the truck series. They didn't exactly speed around the place. Ah! I'm gonna have to look that up. Or maybe you can comment it in the comment section. And by the time this is uploaded, I'll completely have forgotten about the fact that I had this conversation with myself. And I'll be like, yes, Kamikaze, there are restricted plates on trucks. In every single comment in the comment section, like 15 times over, I'm like, why are you people saying this? Why do I give a shit? And then everything will be fine. Wait, did I just, did I just get the poll time? I think I just got the poll time. This is incredibly disturbing. 
could we be looking at a win? Oh my god, I am not I'm not fucking around though. We are continuing to ride along the rim here. Well this really isn't riding along the rim. Damn it, my thumb hurts again. I am so glad my computer is back here. I have transferred my computer several times now over the course of school. I transferred it once over, and then I transferred it up a set of stairs, and then across a hallway, and then finally into my room. Then over Christmas break, I brought it back here, so I took it across the hallway and down the stairs again. Then, when I came back to school, right, for the second semester, I took it up the stairs and down the hall again. Then I changed, changed rooms. So I had to take it down the hall, down the stairs, up five flights of stairs into a room, take it out of the room, and then the elevator worked today, thank fucking God. Oh my God, I got pull time. This is unreal. We could be looking at a win in the truck series in the first race of the season. The first race of the season is supposed to be brutal, though. No. Oh, it's the arrow that's doing it. Getting those arrow parts really helped out. Since 1959, a driver's career can Adam be Petty is on the pole, baby. Speedway. The two and a half miles I bet Sears Craft and regrets <laughs> for some of the greatest names not in bringing racing. their money back. 31 degrees of banking in the turns and incredible speeds on the straightaways have led to the inclusion of restrictor plates here. Aerodynamic drafting has become a must-have skill in order Brandon to attack and master Daytona. All right, uh, Buddy Baker. Buddy Baker down in the lower part of the screen. R.I.P. in peace. Buddy. Got a good head, head start. Did not fuck up like at Homestead. Whatever the hell was happening there. Adam Petty is looking at a clear field ahead of him. This is craziness. Adam Petty leading at Daytona is going to have to pit on the first lap. That's okay. Down below the yellow line like a boss. Up to... Oh! That was close. Up to block. I wish my spotter was aware of the fact that at places like Daytona you need to be... Old. If I had a... If I had a real-time spotter, that'd be excellent. If this was like iRacing and I could have a real-time sponsor, that'd be... Or sponsor. Spotter. Alright. I'm gonna come into the pits. Uh... I don't know how much I need to slow down, I'm really fucking up. Got a black flag! Good! Got a black flag by one mile per hour. Perfection. Let's see if I can miraculously make my way back to the front regardless. 15 fucking seconds. Unreal. They're all leaving. Everyone's leaving, except they're waiting for some reason. Hey, you know what? At least this is Daytona where I can recover from this, right? As I go to 26th position. 27th. So the leader's on the back stretch by now. Good, good, good. That's exactly what I planned on doing from the beginning. For some reason, this guy's going way faster than me, so that's excellent. There's no caution flags in this game, which means that the field is going to continue to be strung out as far as possible, so I'm going to be finishing as low as possible. If I can somehow recover to the top ten, I will be happy. I highly doubt that's going to happen, especially with just two fucking laps of racing here. Okay, maybe not two. But it may as well be two. At least I got the pole car. Maybe I can pull a frickin' Bill Elliott and come from two laps down and win this race, even though there's only two laps. Why are they three wide ahead of me? Uh, I'm gonna have to dip below the yellow line just so that I can... I hate doing that. I, I really like playing it as realistically as possible, so if you go below the yellow line, get like black flag and stuff. But if they're going three wide and I'm ten miles per hour faster than that, I don't even, I'm not even gonna wait for their asses. You can really see the discrepancy between 
Adam Petty and the rest of the field at the current moment here. Car high, all clear. Yeah, if I can recover to a top top ten, I will be satisfied. And it looks like I'll be able to at least make it to the top ten before shit hits the fan. Plus, I've got an engine upgrade clear low. coming. I have an engine upgrade in the clear in high. my wings waiting for me. And if I can catch up to that, that looks like the lead pack right there. Or at least the bottom half of the top ten, so I'd be able to get to that Stay at least. Still there. Clear low. We still got two and a half laps of racing, so let's keep utilizing the draft as much as possible here. All clear. Yes, sir. Way to fuck up a potential first win, Adam. By two goddamn miles an hour. That's what pisses me off the most, is that it was fucking borderline. Two to go. Why is the pit road speed limit so low here? Clear Why high. is it just fine at, like, frickin' 70 in NASCAR Thunder 2004? That's just fine, but not here. I'm passing my buddy Brendan gone. Hitting him and uh, hitting him in the process as always. Yeah. Clear low. Can't All go two low. seconds without hitting my old buddy Brendan gone. All clear. Old buddy, old pal. I could steal a top five. Still there. Clear or not. Low. Apparently this is sixth place that I'm staring at. And I don't have the lucky seven sponsor, so finishing seventh doesn't matter. The leader's all the way over there. Let me see if I can bump draft my way to the front here. Well, that is a no. That is an N-O on the bump drafting home front. There's a spin in turn four. No kidding. It's good that I could have won this race had I gone two miles per hour slower into the into pay road. It's good to know. It's good to know. Can't take my fucking finger off the controller to scratch my nose while you're flying in a goddamn wall. No fucking wonder it was crazy ass shit at Miami there five seconds ago. No fucking wonder I nearly flew into the goddamn outer dimension of outer space, you know? No fucking wonder. Black flags up the wazoo. Top 10, can't complain about that. So, that race is over, thankfully. Well, it's a good thing that's over. Now we can just go to the rest of the tracks and not speed on pit road, resulting in a 15 fucking second black flag. It's brutal enough with 5 seconds in the EA games, but fucking 15 seconds, are you serious? So, $32,000. I guess be closer, ever so slightly, to $290,000. Alright, win the fastest lap, not happening. Finish 10th or better, could happen. Finish 3rd or better, we might be able to do that. I will put that... I'll put the 7 here on the deck lid. Where the hell are all these guys? Where... Kata... Kata's back! When the hell did that happen? Finish 15th or better? Wow, actually finishing 7th or better is actually less of a reward than freaking finishing 20th or better. What the fuck? What are these? What is these? What are these winnings here? There we go. Here we go. Here's a place we can replace stuff with. There we go. Lucky 7's going there. 18th or better, yes. We'll put Edge there. Edge. I miss Edge in WWE. He was a cool guy. 